Welcome back to Jack 2, and we are Rambo! So what we were actually getting into before we had to go to break last time was, uh, I unfortunately have not seen the AVGN movie, but Alex has. Do you want to give kind of a, a little review of it? Yeah, alright. Uh... Yeah, because I had a twister on, right? <laughs> well, I, I was... I was satisfied with the movie. I thought James did a good job putting it all together, and did a good job writing it, directing it, and uh, producing it. The, there's quite a bit of production values for a modest budget movie. Was it worth the years of production? Because, I mean, this this thing was being made for years. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it was. Especially for a game like E.T., the extraterrestrial on Atari. Yes. You know, it was great he got the original programmer to come in. Yeah, I saw that. He got the original programmer to come in. He actually was... And I saw on his channel, he was able to take the part of the movie where he does do, like, an AVGN show of E.T. and was able to separate it out and make an AVGN episode of it. Yeah. But I haven't even watched that either because I am I totally want to watch the AVGN movie. I just haven't gotten around to it. So it's good. You'd recommend it. Yes. Okay. And that actually brings us to another question that we've been getting quite a bit when are you guys going to be doing your movie reviews? You've been gone for, like, a couple of months. While my phone goes off. Because <laughs> Let's Play Um, uh, It's not that we haven't... We haven't stopped. It's just that we haven't had any movies that we were interested in doing. Mm -hmm. um, I thought about maybe doing Dracula Untold, but then our buddy Romney did his review, and I went, oh... No, no, I don't think I'm going to touch it. Not with 10 feet. But you will you guys will be thankful to hear. Uh, we are getting back into the swing of things because it is going to be the winter releases now. And I think we are going to start up with Interstellar. Is that right? Yes. We're starting up, I think, next, next week. So you guys can recording. look forward to our Interstellar review. What is that even about? I don't know, and trailers are kind of vague about it. I kind of like it that way. Yeah, I couldn't tell you the plot. Okay. It's it's from Christopher Nolan, so the guy who did the Dark Knight trilogy. Um, but I think this is a unique story. Um, I'm I may be wrong about that, but I'm just looking forward to a Christopher Nolan movie that isn't involving Batman, because now I want to see what Chris Nolan can do outside of a superhero property. Mm -hmm. And he's not coming back for Justice League, so... And I just hit myself against the wall, I'm not sure why. Jack, are you having problems? Well, how about the setting of where this is supposed to take place? Is it like... Space. Oh, a space-type kind of movie. I think it is, isn't it? Yeah. All the stuff that we've seen in the trailers has been space. There's been Earth, too, so... Okay. It, I wouldn't... Frankly... It, the trailers kind of give me a vibe that this is going to be Chris Nolan's answer to 2001. That was kind of what I was kind of what I was wondering if it was going towards is 2001: A Space Odyssey. So that'll be interesting and actually kind of a good thing because if you think about it, 2001 is well kind of out of this generation. Yeah. So it's kind of a unique idea now. Not two old parts like you and me. <laughs> yes. We're also film buffs, so to say that we haven't seen that is actually, like, sacrilege. Mm -hmm. Which I guess is now a good time for me to confess that I've never seen them. It's okay, I've, I've only seen clips out of 2001. Um, I've seen pieces of the sequel. 2011? I have no idea the what they... sequel. It's like a... It's, it's not an official sequel. Mm -hmm. It's, um... I think it's 2011, the year we make Contact. Okay. Or something like that. And so it's roughly based, but I don't think any of the characters are back uh, from from 2001. It's just It does mention, like, HAL 9000. And I've seen that, but I unfortunately have never seen 2001. Mainly because, well, my dad was a big fan and liked to hog the movie. That and 20,000 leagues. You, 
Unless he was watching it, you weren't seeing it. And right now, we're just trying to fill in all this padding, 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 padding. Because I'm trying to figure out where the last switch is. This is going to be one of those moments where I'm going to be really miffed. Because the, the last switch was right in front of my face, isn't it? Yeah. It's our Banjo Kazooie LP all over again. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I remember that. Yeah. You guys are running around trying to find what you're looking for. Where, what was it? Mad Monster Mansion? And then all of a sudden we found it? No, it happened a couple of times. It happened a lot. It happened a lot with the notes. We had to dig out the strategy guide for the notes. It was probably between Mad Monster Mansion and Rusty Bucket Bay. Oh, I think it happened in, in more than those. Because, again, we had to find all the notes, and... Yeah. It happened quite a lot. That's why Banjo-Kazooie is done. And we're playing Jack 2 now. And then we're gonna play Banjo-Tooie, which is even bigger! And darker. And Jack is gonna die. So I love the joke that I think it was Andrea that made earlier, or you, where it's just like, Jack is kind of turning into Christian Bale Batman. I think that was close to here. I didn't make that joke. Well, he is. He's turning into Christian... I apparently quote you guys, and, and it's just me. Uh, yeah, he's basically turning into Christian Bale Batman. Let's just be honest, boys and girls. But well, that's actually, the, the voice actor for Jack is actually... I don't know his name, but he's Dean Portman in the Mighty Ducks. Yes! I'm not sure if he carries on to Jack 3, though. I don't know either, actually. We will find out. That is a question we've been getting. We're, we're disappointed with Jack 2, so it's like, are you not gonna do Jack 3? Please do Jack 3, it's better! We'll do a dry run of it and see if you guys are right. Because I had played Jack 2 as a kid, and because I was so disappointed with Jack 2, I never played Jack 2. But that might change because there is talk again of Jack 4. We might get a PS4 reimagining. Except it probably won't be Jack 4, it'll be Jack, insert subtitle here. Yeah, probably. As long as not as long as it's not Jack X Combat Racing, I'm fine. Yes, Jack and Daxter had a a Mario Kart clone. You know, like every other Sony Sony mascot did. You imagine if they put Jack or Daxter as a character for Super Smash Brothers? It would never happen. Not unless you did like. Nintendo versus uh, Sony. I think the most likely concept you're ever going to get of that is if we get another uh, PlayStation All-Stars, which I don't think is going to happen anytime soon. Which is sad. I, I had no problem with the game. I thought it was fairly good. It's just, you know, it wasn't Smash. Uh oh, I'm going to start getting cabin fever if I can't find this button. Button, button, who's got the button? Where is the button? How long do you think it'll take to find the button? I have no idea, but that's another question that we get that we get. You're not playing this live? No. No. Playing it live would mean tons of deaths and tons of Jack or Jack 2 rage from Drac. Drac would not be a happy camper. You probably shouldn't have uh, clued into the fact that we're doing this pose because now people are going to bitch that you didn't there it edit is. more. Oh, uh, we already said at the beginning we were doing this post commentary. So if they want to get mad, then it was pointed out right at part one. Rap 
press the button, Jack. There we go. You know you want to press the button. And of course, we have respawning enemies. Because why not? Now that we have pressed all five buttons, let's get to this Seal of Mar piece. Yeah, people might have thought we forgot where we were at. No. There's a pre precursor orb over there, but I'm not going to get it. Because I want to get the piece and leave. It's time for us to do Balloon Trapeze Act again. We get to be Dick Grayson. There's another Batman reference for you. Mm. And more metal heads. And up onto this platform now. Now this is actually where Drac had a little bit of trouble because this has to be done with the Tony Hawk hoverboard. Who's on a hoverboard? Dun 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 dun. Yep. What are you humming? Power of love. Oh. That's the power of love. Don't need money. I don't know the rest of the words. Listen, Ed. I don't need money. I don't need fame. Don't need no credit card to ride this train. Okay, so now we just need to get on this other trapeze. Not that one. Go away, you. Go away. Oh, you missed it. Yes, and it's just because the other one's confusing. Alright, it's coming. It's coming. There we go. Get off. There we go. So, further and further in. That looks like it would be hard to judge on the distance. Oh, and that's not the worst that it gets. Trust me, that's coming soon. And again, multiple attempts here. So, this is where I actually do it. Oh, that's wonderful. I can hear a metalhead off in the distance. Better get the boomstick ready. There it is. Where's the metal head? Do you see the metal head? I see the metal head. He's dead. And his jewel is bouncing around. Now this is gonna remind uh, Alex of something. I'm sure you remember this from Jack 1. Except it was barrels. And we were making fun of Nintendo at the time, I think. No, no, we were making fun of the Expo. That's right. And we were making fun of Nintendo because of YouTube crap. We made it! I'm on it. Wait a minute. I think this time you should go get the thing. Looks dodgy up there! Don't hurt yourself, Jack! <laughs> it's a curse, isn't it? Apparently so. Apparently Daxter's become Billy the Bass. Or what was it, Billy the Singing Bass? <laughs> right. There you go. Thankfully, we don't have to make our way all the way out. We can just port out. But now we have two pieces of the Seal of Mar. We're getting up there. And now it's on to the next task, which is apparently with Cloud Strife. Ooh, I could have taken that cop bike, but I'm not gonna. 
instant wanted level. I was gonna say, I'm like, well, I bet you get a wanted level just for riding that thing. Yep. Okay, so let's see what the uh, underground wants. The Baron's coming down pretty hard. Whatever you've been doing, you've really upset him. I'm just getting started. He's brought in new Crimson Guard Hellcat cruisers, making the streets dangerous for the underground. We've already lost five men this week. Your men should be able to take care of themselves. But I wouldn't mind taking out a few cruisers, if that's what you're getting at. Never part of a bigger cause, eh, Jack? Fine. I'll take your help any way I can get it. Bring down all five Hellcat cruisers. That should send the Baron a message. Can you tell this mission's gonna have a wanted level? Of course it is. Yes, so we have to go track down these new cruisers. Hellcat cruisers. And we have to shoot them down. Which means that we're going to have a wanted level. Which means multiple attempts. But that's okay, because we're willing to do this, right? No. Okay, so let's go ahead and track this down. We also have to deal with traffic this time around, guys. This is not like a solid area. They are out and about. In fact, there's one right now. And how do you know that it's new? It's black and yellow. Stupid cars! Stop getting in my way! Alright, that's one. Wow, you got hit there. Yes, and so in this mission, it's actually best, unfortunately, to run over the people. Because if you stay in the air, the cop cycles will land you. Because you've officially pissed them off. My car is seriously damaged, but that's okay. That's two. Get out of here. We should switch cars. That's exactly what I'm doing. Because if the car blows up, it's instant death. But we actually did a cruiser, so there is one nearby. There it is. Ow. That's three. Blowing up two cars in the process. It's not my fault. No, Adam Palsy won't save you. <laughs> no, it won't. But it will save me from having very sweaty bombs. Let's just say this mission tested Drax's patience a little bit. And I'm apparently not learning from my lesson. Steal somebody's car! How GTA of me. Smack, smack, smack. I don't care. You're all pedestrians. You're all irrelevant. Smack. Where's the Hellcat Cruiser? Oh, great. They're both in Crimson Guard territory. This is going to be awesome. Cop bikes all over the place. And turrets. Oh, my. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. And Hellcat cruisers. Oh, my. Boom. I am so lucky that thing didn't explode on me and make me die with it. Okay, so I know I got a little bit of damage on both of them. So now I just need to finish the job while running into the wall. Are you kidding me? I still haven't killed it. There we go! One more bullet! That's all it needed! Then it was dead! And you can tell on Alex's face, he is desensitized to the violence. Totally, man. Totally. He could play the next GTA game, man. He's ready. Andrea, however, has a face of horror. 
she's not ready for the next GTA. Actually, no, she, she doesn't care. Oh, this is gonna be even better. I have to fight them on the freeway. What is this, speed? No, sir, it is not, because because Dennis Hopper is not around to be in this film, and Keanu Reeves is just Keanu Reeves. Whoa. Whoa. You gotta go 50 miles an hour. Whoa. That actually reminds me. So I did, I did actually get into a bit of an argument with somebody when I said that uh, Keanu Reeves should not be Spike Spiegel in Cowboy Bebop the movie. Yeah. And no, he should not be him. This is the part of the game where it's just like, we don't want you to succeed. Oh. Winnable by design. Almost done. Oh, he's so almost done. There we go! Took forever. Suspect hit me! That should take some of the heat off the heat. I couldn't have done it better myself. And I have left things a smoldering crater, but that's okay, because on to the next mission, <laughs> which just so happens to be Onin, and I still have a lot of level. Surrender! It's okay, I walked into a tent. Expecting that little boy to save us is folly. At his age, he's no match for the Metalhead leader. Oh, Jack, we were just talking about Samos' plan. Onan says your voice sounds very familiar. Mm. I'll bet you two golden oldies go way, way back, huh? Onan needs you to prove yourself, Jack. You've shown your brass and your brawn. Now, you must show your brains as well. Frankly, I think she's pushing it. But I'm not the boss. Beat this test, and the third piece to the seal will be revealed. And what is that? Ready? Go! Quick time event! Ah, uh, early 2000s were quick time events were revolutionary. Yes. Yet incredibly stupid at the same time. Well, it, it just depended. If you were the right company, you were using them properly. If you were the wrong one, they were pointless. And I'm afraid to say Naughty Dog was not the right company. Not yet. They needed Uncharted to happen before that was worthwhile. And as people can see, the goal is actually pretty freaking high right now. I'm about a quarter of the way. Okay, so you're good. Oh, thank you, Mr. Paraboy. It's not like I haven't done a dozen of these. You missed some. I'm trying to think of some good companies back in the day that were doing. Obviously, the God of War games. We're really good at the quick time event. Um, Sega was doing them, but not so well because Shenmue was probably the first time I ever saw a quick time event. You are doing very well. I don't know. Help me out here, Alex. Were, were, there, were, were there any other companies that did it? I'm sure there were. I can't name many, but Capcom did it uh, with Resident Evil 4. But that was during the era of people thinking Capcom was starting to screw up with Resident Evil. I actually like it. Jeez, that looks complicated. Yes, this is basically the last little bit to try and either get you to fail or get you to fail. enough points! Congratulations! Wow. Yeah. Behold, the seal of Mar is now complete! Onan says the three artifacts you retrieved from the mountain temple are relics from an ancient light tower. Old songs tell how this light tower once shined down on the actual site of Mars' tomb. I sing one of these songs for you. From the mists of time, Mars' light would shine. Oh, there, Iron Lungs. Just tell us what we need to do. Cretans with no taste, huh? You must take the three artifacts to Mars' gate. 
Only then would the light tower rise and reveal the tomb. All right, and we're going to go ahead and do that next time. So when we come back next time, we're actually going to be starting up the second big story event, which is the Tomb of Mars.